In its state of election preparedness, IEBC chairperson of Fulati Bukati sought to outline a number of measures the electoral body has put in place to ring the ballot from any fraud. The ballot papers which we have printed for this election are very advanced in features and that will make it impossible to duplicate and they are not prone to any form of uh, ballot stuffing. While assuring Kenyans of a credible exercise, Tibukati said dead voters will this time not resurrect and vote and then go back to their graves. The IPC has put in place a foolproof system that will not only identify voters biometrically, but will also ensure that the ones who are passed on will not turn up on the August 8th election. In case the biometric system fails, the electoral agency will switch to alphanumeric system and 5,300 candidates whose biometrics cannot be identified will be allowed to cast their votes alphanumerically. It's only in cases if you can't be identified biometrically or in case where the name is missing in the register, we are putting measures that is supplementary a system of voting, which is uh, alphanumeric. IEBC has engaged cybersecurity experts to cap possibilities of cyber attacks on the IEBC systems as the commission will heavily rely on technology in the entire voting process. To ensure that all players in the election read from the same script, the commission said it incorporated all players in the electoral process in the verifying and shipping of ballot papers from Dubai to keep off fears of duplicate and rigging claims. The issues raised by Third Way Alliance are not candid, are not being genuine to the Kenyans. You see, at the time the ballots were being printed, our officers were on the ground and the, the observers who were there were taken through the entire process. IEBC has 19.6 million registered voters, 40,883 polling centers with each center to accommodate a maximum of 700 voters to speedy transmission of results. With less than 10 days to the next general election, the electoral agency in the country has expressed confidence in credible results delivery come August 8th and unlike 2007 and 2013 where it took four to five days to announce the presidential results. This time round, the Wafula Chibukati team says it will announce the presidential results within 24 hours. Now it's a wait and see situation on how the IEBC will conduct the August 8th elections. Irene Mchuma Udim, Channel 1 at the Bomas of Kenya.